Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. So we're just going to see what happens, and keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and then we're going to use this deck right here for the reading. So what do we have for Leo for the week of May 18th? What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo for the week of May 18th? Ooh, Seven of Pentacles reversed. So, the Seven of Pentacles, which is a little bit jumpy. You saw the other card jumped. So, the jumpy, jumpy energy. And this is dissatisfied. A lot of you are getting off right now because you only want to hear the positive. I get it. I got it. I understand. A lot of, you know, and then again, we have a lot of people that do like reality. So, um, some do, some don't. Anyhow, this is probably a reality check. This is probably a reality check. There's no growth this is a dead end. So something is, a, it's time to relocate. It's time to plant the seed someplace else. Okay. So this is a week about, uh, relocating, uh, thinking about it, planning a relocation, perhaps, uh, realizing that wherever you're at, there's nothing left. It is definitely time to go someplace else. So that is the, the focus of the week. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. There's, this is this is it. It's dead. I mean, there's nothing that you've it, done. It's not worth it anymore to stay where you're at. It's over. That period, that season, that season is over. So this is about relocation this week. Whether you're planning it or you're taking that next step or whatever it is, it has to do with relocation or no longer investing in something that is dead. You can't water a dead tree. It's dead. There's no growth left. Oh my freaking God. Seven of Pentacles. Digging up. You cannot water a dead tree. If it's dead, it's dead. That's why he has the shovel. I think there's a card underneath it. No, nope, there isn't. Seven of Pentacles. The shovel is to dig up and relocate. It's done. It's over. It is over. So this is definitely a week of relocation. Okay? You've thought about it? Look at it. It's dead. Well, you know, there's a little bit of green there, isn't there? But there's no room for growth. That's why he's got the shovel. It's time to go someplace else. It's not get. It's not getting very big. It should be huge. the 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 payout should be huge. The abundance should be huge. I mean, come on now. It's lacking. So anyway, it is definitely time to go someplace else. Okay. And that is the focus of the week. So, Monday. That is about relocate. It definitely is Monday. Ooh, overwhelmed. A lot going on. Tuesday. Ah, moving. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Ooh, Saturday. And Sunday. Ooh. Sunday, one more card, please. Well, that's a big pile. We're not going to do it. It was a pile. It's all those. Sunday, one card, please. Oh, a pile. What happens to the tower when it crumbles? It's a pile of rubble. Sunday. Okay, so this is re this is serious. It has to do with relocation, starting over, building a new foundation, 
Uh, so Monday. Monday is, you know, thinking about it still, obviously, the whole week. The whole week is about what you're investing in and coming to the realization that wherever you're at, there's no more growth. So that is what the week is about. It's, that is what the week is about. But on Monday, you're really thinking about it. Monday, you're overwhelmed. You're, you probably have a lot of responsibility. You're trying to do too much. You got too much on your plate on Monday. You're probably feeling worn down. You're probably feeling um, uh, like you, this wherever you're at, there's a big burden. You know, why isn't this growing the way it should? Why isn't this happening? Maybe you're trying to do too much all by yourself. Maybe you need some help. Maybe you need to go someplace where there's more light, where there's more um, traffic or something like that, or there's more help you know where you can get more help where there's more people if or there's more it's more fertile there's more wherever wherever you're at there's no fertility the ground isn't fertile so you know it, it's time for you to let go of whatever the reason that you're hanging on it's time for you to drop this burden to drop this baggage and you don't got nothing left to prove. Hold your head up high and go plant your seed someplace else. So Monday, you're thinking about it. Monday is a day where you're probably busy, 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 busy. But while you're running around with the chicken with your, like a chicken with your head cut off, you're still thinking about it. You're like, you know, I got, I know that this is over. It's time for me to go. So maybe you're, 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 you're working on going someplace else. And it's too much. This is overwhelming feeling of burden right here. You probably are burdened by the fact that you know it's time to go. So Monday is a day of perhaps contemplating and feeling maybe even exhausted, um, trying to do too much, trying to thinking too much, whatever. Monday is 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 an, a feeling of. Um, overwhelming burden that there's no growth where you're at there's no you know you, you you should there should be more right there should be more this 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 isn't it so on Tuesday we have the six of cups and the six of swords now sixes are about getting your life back on track okay it's the journey to balance and harmony Six, six right here on Tuesday. So Tuesday, you're going to be taking steps. You're going to be moving in a new direction. Okay? You are. You're going to be moving. You're going to be moving in a new direction. You're at, you may be planning to move back to some place where you used to live. Maybe it's a town that you used to live in or something like that or a city. Um, now, the Six of Cups, you notice one of these people is... is is covered up, which is interesting how it's covered up. So I, th so this is this is like somebody offering some sort of emotional support. Somebody may be helping you or giving you some advice. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that wants to help you. There may be somebody on Tuesday that is is encouraging you. They say that they will help you. They may take you and your child, and maybe you're maybe they can help you, and maybe you're gonna all go together. You know, maybe you're all going to move in together or something like that. This is moving in a new direction away from a place that is not harmonious. It's no, it's no good for you. It's, it's been rough. Okay, it's been rough for you to be there. So it's moving away from that. You may be also leaving behind something. Okay, maybe you're leaving behind somebody because this is the Six of Cups is memories. You're leaving behind some memories. Yes, there there will always be some memories memories there. You see, but you're also going to be leaving behind some discontent because you know there's only four cups showing on this card. One, two, three, four. Four of Cups is discontent. So when you move on Tuesday or I don't think you're going to be actually moving on Tuesday, but when but when you're thinking, because the Six of Swords is planning it and moving and all that away from this rough situation, just remember that, yes, you, your memories will always be there, but you are also leaving behind discontent because the Four of Cups is discontent and sadness and regret and, you know, not receiving attention, um... You know, you've been looking for more for quite some time. So it's time for you to get to that better place. It's time for you to have peace. So I think there is somebody on Tuesday that wants to help you if you would give them a chance. Um, 
So Tuesday, you are moving in a new direction. You are literally moving with that six of swords. You're taking the steps because these are both sixes. I do believe there is there's another individual here that will be supporting you and helping you. This person um, is strong. This person is going to steer you in the right direction. So there is somebody on Tuesday that is, is trying to steer you in the right direction. Allow them to help you. I think it's a water sign. It could be a, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I don't know why, but I think it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Wednesday, Wednesday, the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So this is, oh, the Knight of Cups is somebody that is looking for a relationship, looking for love interested in love has love to offer this um, this is somebody that is very charming um, very gentle very kind again a water sign but we also have another individual that has their guard up this person is hard to deal with very assertive very brash very um, to the point very authentic so this is a very authentic, to the point, um, matter of fact individual, maybe a professional that speaks the truth and speaks the truth quite fluently, okay, has no toleration for lies whatsoever and will uh, pick you apart the minute she hears a lie. So anyway, this is um, somebody that is very hard on Wednesday you're going to be dealing with somebody it's like this person is coming in offering support or wanting to be friendly you know offering some sort of uh kinship per se and this one's like uh back up that's how I feel like it is I don't trust you there's a lack of distrust here with this queen of swords She's like, don't come near me unless you, you want to get hurt. You know, very protective energy I'm feeling from this Queen of Swords. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't believe you. That kind of thing. Interesting. On Wednesday, I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication. Um, this person's trying to be nice, trying to build a relationship, or trying to nurture a relationship. And this one is just like... Be careful. Watch out. That's how I feel like she's coming across. She's she's ready to fight. She's ready to spit fire by the looks of things. So be careful. I, I feel like um, Wednesday is a day of... Mm, I need to get another card for this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords seems very brash to me. You could be dealing... You may not see it. Maybe you're taking on this, this Knight of Cups energy. You're trying to be nice to somebody and you're dealing with somebody who is cold. So my, I don't need another card. So my advice is to, well, maybe I should get one more card. Ah, conflict. Mm. Five, of, five of wands reversed. This is a conflict. This is a fight. Move on. could be a battle I feel like we have an individual that wants peace this person wants peace may want forgiveness this is like wanting to make peace or something on Wednesday and this could end in a battle with this five of wands reversed it could also be the end of a conflict because the five of wands could be the end of the fight it could be a peace. It could be finding peace. It could be a peaceful resolution with this person. So you may find a peaceful resolution with an individual that is very harsh on Wednesday. Okay, so there could be some sort of message or communication with somebody that, you know, maybe there's been some sort of argument or some petty arguments. This is pettiness, some sort of competition, but there could be some sort of peaceful resolution on Wednesday. Thursday. Ah, yikes. Page of Cups reversed and the Knight of, uh, or the King of Swords reversed. So this Page of Cups is mm, 
next to the king of swords so it could be something to do with a child and a father it doesn't have to be but this can be a child and a father this is an abuse an abuse of power a bully somebody that is very cold a liar abusive well, something is going on here with this what says Thursday Thursday the 21st now this is a very it could be some tears there could be some tears shed on Thursday there this could be an angry individual that doesn't care about feelings at all something could happen on Thursday with a man I think it's with a man okay because the king of swords is a very to me is a very masculine energy there's something that could happen on Thursday with a man that is very mean, says something really, really, really mean to you. Um, and it hurts. It hurts with that page of cup. could make you cry. There could be some tears. may have something to do with a child. There could even be a rejection here. This is a rejection from a cold-hearted individual that is very selfish. The King of Swords in reverse is selfish doesn't care very hard and cold don't care about your feelings at all on Thursday something is gonna happen I don't care about your feelings at all so you could be dealing with somebody on Thursday that really doesn't care about your feelings and it you there could be some tears shed I'm just being honest with you let's see what this is about oh, oh boy Yikes. So this person um, enjoys some sort of control that they have over you. They want, they may see you as vulnerable. They may see you as weak. They may see you as naive. And, uh, you know, you're going to need to find your strength to uh, not deal with this person. Obviously, you're still holding on to them. I don't know who this person is, but the strength upright is finding the strength to let go of something. In reverse, you're still holding on to something that is abusive. So you're going to need to find your strength to let go of some sort of abusive situation that keeps hurting you on Thursday. So I feel like on Thursday, there is, um, we have a Leo here that doesn't believe in themselves, that lacks self-confidence, that allows themselves to be abused mentally or verbally now the page of cups is a drama queen so and, and i'm not sure if you're a drama queen or or what i'm not saying i don't you know a lot of people don't want to hear this kind of shit but you could you could this man in the middle here could say oh you're nothing but a drama queen all you do is thrive on drama so you know, whatever. I'm just telling you what I see. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on, but there could be a rejection here or, you know, this is an unrequited love situation that makes you, you know, this could be unable to, the strength reverse is unable to master your emotions. I think Thursday is going to be a rough day where you may be crying. Why is this happening? And this is all, whatever you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So remember that. Friday, Four of Wands and the Devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Aries, or I said Aries, so we can go with that. Um, air sign: Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces. Anyhow, Capricorn. Anyway, we have a toxic, unhealthy situation on Friday. This is something all is not as it seems. This is a, the party is over. This is a messy situation. It is cleanup time. So this is the end of an engagement that was toxic and unhealthy. On Friday, this is being bound to something that is not good for you. Um, choosing to engage in it when you shouldn't be on Friday. Um not seeing it clearly with the devil card this is somebody that is uh, bound to something an addiction that is a, maybe this is codependency it is codependency this could be an unhealthy marriage an unhealthy relationship an unhealthy commitment you know or an unhealthy addiction somebody is addicted to something that is not uh going to help them grow put it that way 
Um, Friday is a day of needing to control, needing to take control of a situation. Now, there could be some anger here. There could be some anger. There could be a fallout. Now, the devil is is a very, very uh, egotistical energy. There could be a disaster in, in a commitment. There's obsession here, obsessed with a partner. Somebody is obsessed. They're obsessed with finding a partner or they're obsessed with... Uh, somebody that they were married to, you know, there's some sort of obsession here that is toxic, it is unhealthy, and you need to break free from it. You need to sever ties. Somebody is a slave to illusion, okay? That's what this is. So they're keeping themselves tied to something that they were committed to in the past when they need to find their strength to break free from it because it isn't healthy and it isn't going to change. So on Friday, you are going to be tempted, because this is temptation, you are going to be tempted to repeat something perhaps or go down the wrong path. Okay, let's get another card. It's for Friday. Oh my God, the lover's reversed. The lover's reversed is a false contract, perhaps, per se. This is a conflict. This is a disconnection. It's detaching. It's a one-sidedness with an individual that you are not meant to be with. You are with, this is a, seriously, it really is, this is not good. Okay, this is an unhealthy partnership that is only based on illusion. It's complete illusion. This is a separation. This is a broken relationship, breaking free from an unhealthy situation on Friday relocating. This is like, I have to break free from this. I have to break free from this. There's no more commitment here. There's no compatibility. This is, this week you are taking the steps, another six, 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 to bring balance back to your life. It's like you're going through a spiritual awakening right now. You've been, and 666 is really a devil number because 666 is about being materialistically focused or being focused on the ego, being focused on pride. That is the devil. Okay, now you're going to, sixes are about choices. This is choosing to break free from this toxic, unhealthy situation that is based on a lie because the shadow, the devil is ruled by the shadow, which is a lie. I can make a duck on the wall. Okay, let's try to make, see? Well, what is that? It's really my hand, but what is it? But what is it? Looks like a duck bill, right? All is not as it seems. So anyhow, that's what you're dealing with. This is a false contract, and it's breaking free from a false contract on Friday. On Saturday, we definitely have a separation here. There is definitely a separation. It's leaving the past hurts behind, leaving the past commitment behind, leaving um, a marriage behind. Um, this is being controlled. The, the Hierophant reversed is poor counsel. Having a hard time doing the right thing due to, due to society. As somebody that is under a lot of social pressure. Feeling disgraced. Letting fear take over. This is, this is a relationship that is no longer on the same page. We have an individual here that is not very spiritual. That is codependent. And doesn't want to let go of a toxic information. Or a toxic information. A toxic a relationship that is unhealthy because of pride. There is a lot of pride here. There is pride here. Because of ego. Because, you know... Whatever. Maybe they got married or they got in this commitment and told everybody. And it's embarrassing. And it doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be a contract with a with a uh, business. Okay? You, you made this contract, you know, and it's embarrassing. So this is about swallowing your pride. It is. And breaking free from this unhealthy situation and not letting society control your own happiness. It's leaving the past hurts behind and on the road to recovery with the three of swords reversed. By, by Saturday, you're on the road to recovery. You're realizing that the relationship is not on the same page. You may be realizing that you have received poor counsel. Maybe it was from some family members or somebody that said, oh, you should do this. You should do that. There's definitely been some poor counsel that was received. But the Three of Swords reverse is leaving it behind and it is accepting the separation. 
releasing the pain. Okay? So on Sunday, hangman reversed in the tower that's letting it fall. You've become enlightened by Sunday. By Sunday, you're ready. You're ready for that new life. You're ready to build a new foundation. You're ready for this life change. Now, on Sunday, this tower is often a shock. A shock. It's a necessary evil where you are forced. This is a force to start with a clean slate. Something could happen on Sunday that really pushes you over the edge. That really wakes you up. This is an awakening. You, you're gonna, this is a rude awakening. It is rude. Awa it is. Sunday's a rude awakening. Now, typically the hangman reversed is somebody that is obsessed with control and refuses to learn a lesson. If you refuse to learn a lesson, the universe will step in. And cause you disruption. Because whatever it is that you're dealing with is a false sense of security. We have somebody here that refuses to change. But it's time, the universe says it's time. Now, this is shedding the light on a situation. There could be, you know, I don't know, usually the tower is an accident or and something happens suddenly that really forces you to start over someplace else. This could happen to do with your home. Or your business or your job or whatever. Some place that is establishment or something. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of planning and moving. And setting the wheels in motion. I see a relocation on the horizon. I think this is a sudden change that you have probably been trying to avoid. Good luck. Sunday looks to be a day of disruption. Because somebody is refusing to make the move. Seriously, the hangman upright is when the person goes into enlightenment goes in to refocus, goes in to become awakened. Here, I'm avoiding it. Refuse to go in and struggling to let go. All right, you want to struggle to let go? Fine. The universe is going to force you. It'd be easier to just let go on your own. Good luck.